Hi everyone, this is Julianne Victoria. Welcome to my channel. So this is another first impressions. We'll do a full walkthrough video of the Star and Crown Oracle. This is a collaboration Oracle deck um, that I got to be a part of. So this is my third collaboration deck. I have two cards in this deck. Um, and it was put together by the folks over at Cult of Tarot Forum. So again, it's the Star and Crown Oracle. I'll link below if you're interested in getting it and all proceeds go to support the forum. Okay, so this is our lovely box. It's large size. I believe the cards are three by five. The back, beautiful Star and Crown images. So all the images in some way have a star and a crown and that's not always literal right okay so it's a lovely two-part box and it comes with a little white book that each of the creators contributed so the entries are approximately one page each the cards are numbered but the the names of the cards are not on the cards so each entry is different depending on who created that card. The deck comes in this beautiful matte blue gilding. As you can see, I have not taken this off yet. So my first time seeing it too. Okay, there we go. So the back of the cards looks like this. So stars and crowns. And let's start going through the cards. Okay, actually what I think I'm gonna do is flip the camera around so you can get a better view.
Such a beautiful deck. Uh, it's amazing how so many different people can come together and create something so lovely. Um, if you don't know, the other deck I worked on with the Cult of Tarot Forum is the Button Soup Tarot. I do have a video on this. Um, when I first got it, I did a, a, a walkthrough then as well. I'll link that on screen towards the end here and down below as well, because I know on mobile devices, you don't see the on-screen uh, link to videos. Um, yeah, so let's pull a card, read a little from the guidebook. Of course, the guidebook, again, is written by all the different creators. So it's, yeah, each entry is going to be different, different style of writing and so on. Lovely shuffle. It's a beautiful matte finish. Let's do a riffle. And what card of guidance do we or you need at your moment of watching this video? Oh, beautiful. I believe this is one of the Paula Millet cards. I'm waiting for her, her deck to come out. So it's number 27. It's called Pinnacle by Paula Millet of Boadicea Design. You have achieved your earthly goals. Enjoy your success. Take the time to recognize and appreciate your accomplishments. Hard work, talent, and perseverance got you here. Now, from this lofty vantage point, look around and see what's next. Could it be another project, a life change, or a spiritual quest? Perhaps even the opportunity to share your wisdom and experience with others who may be following in your footsteps. And the medium, we all put our medium in, is digital collage. So very beautiful. And if you're curious, let me pull out the cards that I created because I'm actually quite proud of them. I might have to edit some pauses here. We'll see. There's one. I love this card. I'm so proud of this one. So it's numbered 38. And I called it Surrender Birthing Ecstasy. I won't read the whole thing, but I just want to show you my cards because I'm happy about them. And the other one, here it is. It's called Polaris. And she numbered it 35. Random numbering, the numbers are just there for the guidebook uh, because we agreed we didn't want keywords or titles or anything on the cards. So that is the beautiful Star and Crown Oracle. I'll link below where you can purchase this as well as the Button Soup Tarot and the proceeds go to support the Cult of Tarot Forum. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and I'll see you back here soon.